Hey guys, Snubkex here. Um, I'm bringing you a short little snippet in th uh, today's video coming from one of my Patreon coaching videos. Um, if you wanna check out you know, the full video or get coaching yourself, you can investigate all that sort of stuff over on my Patreon page and find out all the details over there. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you this little snippet because I thought it was kind of a, a bit of an insight into the game. Uh, and I haven't been doing many Heroes of the Storm videos recently. Gonna be getting back to those now properly uh, on, on Monday. And I just didn't have much motivation to play this week, so that's why it's been kind of sparse, but uh, we'll be back on track uh, uh, in the next week, so you can look forward to all that sort of stuff. Uh, in this video, though, I'm, I'm going to be doing some very rough, very rough maths, okay, uh, to, with the purpose of, of showing you, you know, not to have the precise numbers, but instead to show you and get you thinking about how talents and how scaling uh, all kind of work together, uh, in this case, doing Nazebo and showing, okay, why is Nazebo's Q build, his spider build, why is that considered so good? Well, here's what happens when we put all the talents together, you're going to see that the numbers that come out are actually very, very scary. Um, and, and just to, uh, hopefully it'll be a, a, a kind of a, a, an insight for you guys and will kind of encourage you to sort of think about your talents a bit more and wait, what do these talents actually do, especially when talents synergize together? Wait, let's sit down, let's think about it. What do they actually do in each case? And what makes them worth worth taking? And, and what can you give up? And what do you definitely not want to give up? That sort of stuff. So yeah, enjoy the little clip. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for more hero stuff uh, very soon. Uh, Nazebo, interestingly, is a hero. He's one of the hardest scaling heroes in the game. Um, he's quite weak at the start. And he becomes very powerful later on. Uh, and also, a big part of that t ties into Vile Infection and his trait, just the way his trait works, of course, which is, you know, Voodoo Ritual. When you kill a minion, you permanently gain health and mana bonuses. Well, you stack that up over the game. By level 20, you want to be having 175 stacks at least of that Voodoo Ritual, which will then uh, make the poison that this does apply to heroes as well. And it, it, it triples the damage that it does, which is insane. Um, it makes it so, so strong. And it like his late game scaling is, is crazy. In fact, like, if I break this down for you, I think we'll do like a little bit of math, just to give you an insight into the heroes and, and like why is Nazebo so weak early game and, and stronger late game? Uh, I mean, like let's look at his Q. In fact, I'm gonna get a piece of paper here so I can write this stuff down as I go. Do I have a pen? I've got a marker. That will do. That will do. I, I should have got a pen. I actually I was writing stuff the other day and I took my pen away from my desk. Um, so your spiders. This is like, and you do go for the spider build. So let, let's break down. Why is spider build so insane? in the late game and why is it so good here and this will also t uh, teach you a bit about you know making sure you have the correct talents particularly where talents synergize with each other incredibly well so i mean corpse spiders by default it's you know 52 damage okay cool then it uh, if you hit an enemy it does three spiders that attack for 36 damage so that's three times 36 so i mean it's about uh let's say roughly 100 We'll just round it down a little bit they last for four seconds so they attack for four uh, i think each one attacks uh, once a second, so each spider hits once. So, I mean, you're doing about 400 damage with the spiders if people don't move out of it. So that's uh, 452 damage total at level 1. Uh, considering Nazebo, um, you can't see how much life you have, right? Ah, there we go, we need to hit play. So considering you've got 1,400 health, you know, doing 4,050 roughly damage is it's pretty decent at level 1. I mean, let's look at, though, uh, look at though how it scales up. So first of all, we've got Widowmakers. Well, well okay. Let's do, let's imagine we've got level 20 scaling here, all of the talents. So, well, the, the jar still hits for 52, that's fine. Now we're going to have uh, spiders, instead of hitting for 36, they're going to hit for 30% more. So, uh, I mean, they're going to be hitting for, they expect 10 more damage. Um, so they're going to be hitting like for 46 damage uh, a time. Um, over here, you're going to get health and mana back. We'll ignore that for now. You're going to get two more spiders, so instead of... Uh, Three spiders hitting you're gonna have five spiders hitting so five hitting for 46 that's gonna bring it to like 230 uh they last for four seconds so that's up to uh, 920 damage um so that's up to uh basically uh it's pretty much almost a thousand damage from one of your cues <laughs> okay it's pretty much a thousand damage from one of your cues with widow makers and with the spiders because you're doing 30% more damage, and then you're doing 60% more damage on top of that. Now, additionally, once you get um, Spider Colony, the cooldown recovers twice as fast. Well, fantastic. Now you're going to be doing twice as much. So let's say normally over an, uh, a nine second period, you'd be doing 452 damage with no talents. Um, now over a nine second period, you're going to be doing uh, 2000 damage. 
And I mean, one Q hitting for a thousand, that's uh, one thousand four. Like, like that's a big chunk of your life. Additionally, when we add on Vile Infection, all right. So now our poison applies to heroes, and it does triple damage. Well, how much is that? So they take 69 damage over six seconds. So that's 69, but it's times three, right? 69 times three. So that's uh, something like 200 extra damage. So one of your Qs will do something like 1,200 damage, and you're gonna get them off twice as often, as opposed to your baseline, your Q doing about 450 damage. So it's kind of insane the amount of scaling, and that's just how much damage you can do. But like, I actually, I took a little video, because I thought it'd be interesting uh, to actually show you here. So if you hop on over to the, oh, hang on a second. If I flip over here, uh, and I flip over here. Hello, there's me. Wait a second, let me pause this video. It's not working right. Okay, this is the pro one of the problems with this game, uh, or with this, ah, there we go, perfect. Now it should work. Yes, there we go, excellent. Now it works, great. I'm in my, my dressing gown. <laughs> I, I, don't, I won't have the sound on. This is one from one of my YouTube videos. It's actually one of the most recent ones I did in this ebook, but it is out of date. Um, but for example, you can see here, I mean, we're, we're well winning this game, like uh, stomping it really. Kind of interesting, I have full Q build in a Zebo. You can Superstition was actually strong at this time. It's been nerfed, so it's not as good anymore. Um, but you can see I actually have 230 stacks. So just in general, on a, on a map like Tomb, where you can rotate between two lanes and stack up your quest, that's pretty good. What I want you to do is just like watch, right? Just watch, we're gonna go in this fight. Uh, he's gonna get caught out of position. Just watch, uh, the Vala at first takes a little bit of damage and then watch what happens to Kael'thas, okay? Just to show you how crazy Nazebo is late game, right? So Vala's on about 90% health. We hit her with a couple of spells. She's down to about half health. Watch, watch Kael'thas. So he gets hit by three of our toads. We hit him with our Q. That's it, we hit him with three toads and a Q. There you go, poison ticking, ticking, ticking. Boom, dead Kael'thas, <laughs> okay? I just thought that was, that was like, when I, I remember when I was recording that video, I was like, wow, damn, that really shows you just how much damage it does. And I mean, there you go, if we work out the scaling, once you add it up, you go from about 450 damage base at level one, you're moving up to doing, you know, uh, with all the level 20 talents fully activated, you're doing about 1,200 damage per Q, which is a crazy amount of your life. Um, and you're doing that every four and a half seconds, basically. Now, of course, you have to hit a single enemy for this. Uh, you have to be above half your base life, roughly, even a bit more, above 60% of your life or something for this to work. Um, you have to finish this quest. So there are things that, you know, um, kind of happen there that need to happen in order for you to get that. But uh, still, you get kind of the, the rough idea right there, right?